Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Back when I was uh, first learning about personal computing, I didn't have access to a personal computer, but I saw the commercials on television. And it seemed to me the, the positioning was that if you were the creative type, you would use a Mac or an Apple computer, uh, even before they had Macs, really. And if you were the business type, you would use an IBM clone or a PC. Uh, you know, we, we've evolved now to the point where it really doesn't matter which operating system you use because there's a variety of software available for you, no matter what you need or what you're looking for. Uh, you know, it just kind of comes down to picking your poison. So, you know, that being said, uh, some people use PCs for business and that's cool. You could use Macs for business, PCs for business. It doesn't really matter. But for those of you who use Windows in your business, we have collected a series of 28 what we believe to be great programs for Windows for professionals. So if you're in business, you deal with business, you do have something to do, you work for a business, you need applications or programs for Windows, this would be the article for you. And let's say you're not someone who does anything with business. You probably also want to look at the articles because if you're anything like me, uh, or the articles that we have on LockerGnome.com, the programs listed in the article, I am a software junkie. I love software. I don't care what operating system is on. I don't care if it's on an iPhone, an Android, a Palm device. I don't care. I don't care if it's on Mac, Windows, Linux. If it's good software, it's good software. I love software. I admit it. There should probably be a support. I'll probably be on intervention now in a week. They'll come and interview me say, hey, we're doing a documentary on people who love software. And then I'll walk into a hotel room and y'all ambush me. <laughs> you never, you never come downstairs anymore. <laughs> you never watch TV. <laughs> You're just downloading software and playing software. <laughs> it could happen. So uh, the article on LockerGnome.com, now that we've you know, moved past that point of silliness, let's get a little serious because this is business, folks. Business, business, business. I'm going to go ahead and plus one, tweet, and like the article. You can do that as well on LockerGnome.com. The link, by the way, is in the description. Click it. It's not there for our health. It's there for your business. So uh, some of the our, uh, software solutions uh, that we have for you. Google Docs being one. Now, that's not something you even install. I use Google Docs all the time. It's the best way to collaborate with anybody online today, and it's free. Got to like that, and especially in business, you know. You got to spend money to make money sometimes, but that doesn't mean you have to spend money on everything. Uh, remote desktop management tools that we have to recommend, VNC being one of them, RDC, and that's a, a something that uh, Microsoft has created. You could use it with Windows or Mac OS X. Log me in is another suggestion. Then, of course, Splash Top Streamer, Go to My PC, Team Viewer. The list goes on and on. See, this would probably be something if you're, you're sitting there saying, well, I already knew about those utilities. Yeah, but... What if you know someone who, who doesn't know about those utilities? You know, uh, you could send them the link to the article. It could help them. Uh, so uh, in terms of notes and dictation, the number one utility that we've found, Dragon Naturally Speaking. That's, that's it. Uh, we also suggest uh, th things like Google Calendar for collaborating uh, with, uh, you know, people's schedules on your team or beyond. Uh, Windows speech recognition doesn't do so bad. Give it a shot, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, in terms of file synchronization, we've talked about uh, a few of these uh, utilities before, including Dropbox. Uh, it, uh, there are further recommendations in the article. I'm not reading each particular one. We even have some suggestions for expense tracking. Uh, and, you know, you probably have expenses as a business. You have costs that you have to manage. Uh, and hopefully you're making money, not just spending money. There's There's got to be a, a good balance. And hopefully you're making more money than you're spending. That's a good business model. If you can keep making more money than you're spending, you're doing well, and no matter how large or how small. All the way down to CRM or contact management tools. If you have any other recommendations, if you are a professional, we're looking for those recommendations. We turn to our group of professionals uh, at uh, nomies.com to ask them for their recommendations because we have quite a few business professionals uh, who have registered as a part of that. That, a group of sorts, really. What do we call Nomies? Um, it's a it's a mastermind group with a tech twist, but it's not just uh, for geeks, but people who like doing business. And I like doing business with other people who like doing business. Why wouldn't we? 
Another recommendation uh, that we make if you're looking for uh, good utilities to start out with, whether you're a professional or you're just playing uh, around, Ninite.com. Uh, we, uh, we talked about that in yesterday's clip with other Windows utility suggestions for you, but we just wanted to make sure we were addressing uh, our more professional uh, viewers in the crowd to make sure that they had the tools they needed to succeed as a professional. And if we were missing anything, please let us know. You may have a suggestion that we didn't even consider.